Hey guys, I'm Tony from Tony Teaches Tech, and I want you guys to look at my Google Page Speed Insights. I'm sure you guys have seen this before, maybe not, but um, if you were ever in here before, Google has recently said that they want you to serve your images in next gen formats. Now, what the heck does that mean? If you expand this, it says image formats like JPEG 2000, JPEG XR, and WebP often provide better compression than PNG or JPEG. Well, that is a potential savings of 8.85 seconds. So I think that's something that we would wanna do for our website. I don't think that's actually accurate, but if Google wants you to do it, you should probably do it. So how do we do this? That's what we're gonna learn in this video today. There's mm, two steps. One requires a WordPress plugin, and another one requires you to go inside of your Nginx configuration files and update a couple lines of code. So. Don't you guys worry, I'm gonna walk you through every single step of the process. Let's get right into it. So if we go over here to the website that we're looking at, Tony Teaches Tech, let's just prove to ourselves first that we are actually serving PNGs or JPEGs. So if you go to View, Developer, Developer Tools, and we're using Google Chrome here, by the way, um, probably by default, all is gonna be selected. Um, let's just make sure, yep, we're on the Network tab. So when you open this up for the first time, you'll see something like this. That's just the source code for the website. Go over to the network tab and click on images. Okay, so this is just gonna be basically um, filtering out all the assets that we download for our web page and just showing us images. So we'll refresh the page. And once the page is done loading, you'll see on the type, these are all images, okay? Um, on the type column, you'll see only PNGs SVGs, which are scalable vector graphics, and JPEGs. And that's what Google is exactly telling us that we don't want to use on our website if we want it to be fast and efficient. So let's fix that. Um, first thing, go into your WordPress admin panel. This is the easy part. We'll get rid of this for now. Go to plugins, and for me, I'm gonna go and install plugins, but for you, go to add new. And unless you um, have the EWWW image optimizer, I want you guys to go ahead and download that. Just search EWWW image optimizer, go ahead and install that and activate it. And once you have that on and working, go to settings. And all these defaults on this first basic page are fine. Like out of the box, this is gonna start working for you and compressing your files giving you various sizes, like small, medium, large, so that they're ready to go when the user requests them. Um, but that's a that's a topic for another video. I think I've actually, I have actually already done a video on that. I'll link that up here. Anyway, um, we're interested in the one, one, two, three, four, five, six tab, which is WebP. By default, this checkbox is not checked. I want you guys to come in here and check it. So it says JPEG to WebP conversion is lossly. That's fine. This is gonna convert all your PNG images to WebP images. So, and that happens like behind the scenes automatically. So go ahead and click that checkbox and save changes. And it'll take some time, but we can, I'll show you actually what actually happens behind the scenes. So give it some time, but I want you guys to log into your server using SSH. So um, I don't know if you're not familiar with this, um, there's definitely plenty of tutorials online about how to log into your server using the SSH protocol. Basically, it's going to be a command on terminal or a command line that says SSH, here I'll show you, SSH, um, your username at your website. And then you would type in your credentials. I've already done that. I'm logged into my server right now. So without any further ado, let's let's actually look at this. So um, I said I would show you guys the WebP images. So, uh, so if we go into var www html wordpress content, I believe. Oh yeah, we have to say uh, cd, cd for change directory. I'm gonna assume that you guys have some knowledge of working on the terminal here. That'll make it easier. Uh, and then go to uploads, CD uploads, 
CD, let's go to 2020. No, let's go to 2019. I think there'll be more in there. And November. So here, if we came in here before we clicked that um, WebP activation in the plugin, you would have seen only, oh God, I just made it disappear. You would have seen only PNG files of varying sizes. But now that we click that checkbox, we also have for every single size and for every single image, we have a WebP version of that, that file, that image. So that's essentially what we just did with that checkbox. But now that we're here, there's those two configuration options that we wanna change for the Nginx server. So go to um, slash etc slash Nginx. And in here is where your um, configuration for your Nginx server is. I just wanna show you one thing to kind of like bring this, this full circle. It'll make sense in a second. So just quickly look at this Nginx config file. And um, the specific line is the second to last line here. And this, I'm using Volter hosting, V-U-L-T-R.com. Um, this is like kind of the default config file for Nginx for for new hosts that, or not new hosts, new um, instances that you spin up. So this last line here says, include all the configuration files from the conf.d directory ending in .conf. So let's go into the conf.d directory and you'll see that we have our WordPress configuration files that were also pre-configured for us. We wanna make two changes. One is a new file and one is an, an edit to the WordPress HTTPS com file. And again, guys, this is gonna be slightly different for your purposes, but all we're doing is adding a block of code. So let's just say right under here, um, I have this block of code and I'll put this in the description below so you don't have to copy it from the screen, but um, let's place it in and then we'll try to figure out what it does. Okay, so this block of code, it's one, two, three, four total lines. Um, it says basically any file that you serve from the website that has a PNG or a JPEG, J, this, this is kind of weird looking, but it says if it has a JPEG ending or a JPG ending, which are both JPEGs, um, they're gonna add this specific header, which is just like, additional metadata for the, the image that is served along with the image itself. And it's going to try to find the, uh, I'm sorry, it's going to try this, this try files, it says it's going to try to find a image with that name and a dot W, what is it? W E B P the D web P extension. Um, and if it has that file, it's going to serve it. Otherwise, it's not going to serve it. And it's going to go back and resort to the, the original PNG file. So that's all that does. We will go ahead. Oh, God. I just, no, I didn't. <laughs> we're good. Um, I thought I stopped the screen recording. So we're going to write and quit. And the last thing is a, a new file in that same exact directory called webp.conf. And actually, you can call this whatever you want, but for uh, organization purposes, we'll call it that. So this is going to um, basically define that suffix that we just used. So the suffix that we just used was web, God, I can't say that, webp underscore suffix. And that's just saying that that is equal to dot webp. <laughs> okay. And that is... Uh, Right here. Okay, cool. So we have those two configuration files. The last thing we want to do is restart our Nginx server, which is sudo system ctl restart Nginx. Now, let's minimize these two guys. Go back into our website. Go to view developer, developer tools. And we should still be on the network tab with the images being filtered. We will refresh the page. And voila, we got W 
WebEBP images, WebP images being served for all of our assets, which is exactly what we set out to do at the beginning of this video. Um, I guess one last thing, just to, like I said, bring this full circle, is to take a note of this serve images in next-gen formats. Um, we'll reanalyze our website, and hopefully if we did everything correctly, that will be gone. So we'll give it another second, and I don't see it, so I think we did what we had to do. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you need help with this type of thing, PageSpeed Insights, Next Gen Image Formats, W-E-B-P Images, um, let me know in the comments below. If you found this video useful, um, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and if you do, I'll see you in the next one.